Well, international students at KU are worried about being deported after a new federal policy. KU's chancellor is condemning the policy that will refuse student visas if they have to take classes online. KU has nearly 1,900 students, each paying tens of thousands in tuition. International students we talk to are worried about their future both in and out of the classroom. But I can't really leave because my country is closed. It, it just puts us in a, in a position where like all of our, uh, our life plans, whether it's here in the U.S. or back in our country, are kind of heavily jeopardized. KU is planning on a hybrid of online and in-person classes this fall. Mizzou will do the same. UMKC is planning on having in-person classes, but those plans might change if more people get sick from COVID-19. In Kansas and Missouri, school districts are getting ready for a new year. In Kansas, administrators are waiting for additional guidance from the state. Missouri's Education Commissioner says it'll be up to local health departments and districts to come up with reopening plans for the new school year. And we have some breaking news to report to you this morning. 1.3 million workers tried to get unemployment benefits for the first time last week. This comes as coronavirus cases are spiking across the country, causing more layoffs. Six states have already rolled back their reopening plans, while 15 states have suspended their reopenings. Both of these have stopped the recovery we saw last month. And here are the latest numbers of coronavirus cases here in the metro. Yesterday, 409 new cases of COVID-19 were reported in the nine county area. It is the second highest increase in more than a week. Well, here's a look at the percentage of positive cases on both sides of the state line over the last two weeks. In Kansas, 10.2% of tests are coming back positive. In Missouri, it is 4.9%. And Chinese Mission Park Beach is closed for two weeks after a staff member tested positive for COVID-19. The staff member was involved in training with other beach staffers. The city says visitors are not at risk. Beach operations are expected to restart July 18th. If you made reservations during the closures, you will get a full refund. Well, it's 8.06 now, and testing sites have been busy since the holiday weekend. The high demand is creating a backlog. We're told the labs in Johnson County, Kansas, are there, that the labs they are using are caught up for now, but health officials say the aftermath of a busy holiday weekend could complicate things. Obviously, after the July 4th weekend, we uh, expect um, a lot more requests for tests. Kansas City, Missouri health officials say that they've had to turn to private labs to help process the test, but that's caused delays and some discrepancies in reporting. And the Kansas City, Missouri Health Department is organizing a three-day testing event just for restaurant workers. It'll happen at the Homefield Sports Facility on Bannister Road. The city hopes to administer up to 2,000 tests. It'll be from Monday to Wednesday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Appointments are required. You can call the number there you see on your screen. By the way, here's some symptoms you need to look out for when it comes to coronavirus. According to the CDC, they are fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, sore throat, headache, muscle pain, and a new loss of taste or smell. If you have these symptoms, don't panic. Isolate yourself and call your doctor for instructions. Remember, the majority of people recover from COVID-19 at home. And today, the Johnson County Board of County Commissioners will hear a proposal for next year's budget. The meeting, which starts at 1, comes at a time of uncertainty because of the pandemic. You can watch the meeting on the county's Facebook page. All right, the Kansas City Chiefs will be limiting the number of fans who can see games at Arrowhead this season. That means not every season ticket holder will have a seat, which begs the question, well, what about your money? Well, the team says season ticket holders will not have to do anything to keep their seats for the 2021 season. A credit will carry over. As of right now, they'll also have an opportunity to buy single game tickets. Even if you want a refund for this season, you will not lose your place for next season's tickets. Ticket brokers say they're standing by waiting for more direction from the Chiefs. I think the future of the Chiefs looks really strong no matter what you know this year looks like. As part of what Tickets for Less calls its fan insurance guarantee, all existing ticket and parking passes uh, uh, orders will be automatically refunded.